This video is a follow-up for the About Me. I want to share with you all about my world travels because that's a big part of who I am and how I've come to see the world I have. So the first place overseas I've been is Brazil. I'm half Brazilian and uh, have the legitimate Brasileiro in Jersey from my family uh, in Rio, in Rio de Janeiro, uh, which I've been to many times. When I graduated from college, I got to spend two months there. So that was like a really immersive, I wanted to see a real immersive experience. And I'll do whole videos on my, on each place, but this is just kind of an overview. Uh, so I've done, so I've gone to Brazil. Uh, I went to Peru after that and uh, worked with the shamanic traditions in Iquitos in the jungle. And then I went to the other side of Cusco and Machu Picchu in the Sacred Valley. Um, definitely broadened my lens on experience. Uh, before that, I, I, tra I studied abroad in Japan. Uh, I spent about five to six months there. Got to stay with the host family. It was really, really enjoyable. That's probably my favorite place for many reasons and spent the longest time there. Um, and then I also spent a month in China, a month and a half, actually, I extended it, but a month just in the monastery, uh, Achan, which is the Chinese word for Zen, a Zen monastery, just a Buddhist, um, Chinese Buddhism is his own pretty much branch, learning Buddhism and meditation and monastic life. And then I got to work with children in the mountains near Beijing Oh, the monastery was actually the Southern Shaolin Monastery. Even though there's three of them, they claim to be the legit one. They all claim to be the legit one. But it was a Shaolin monastery, so I got to see the Kung Fu kids. Um, I, I think I can upload a video of that, maybe, because we got to practice alongside them. It was a great experience. Uh, but yeah, then in Beijing, I worked with some kids. Uh, got to teach them Qigong, animal frolics, forms, uh, Got to teach him some philosophy, some, some Chinese astrology, because I apparently knew more about it than most Chinese people. Um, and then most recently, I consider this a travel. I, uh, right, right before COVID hit, I was in the mountains of North Carolina in the Pisgah National Forest, where I would spend uh, eight days in a row out in the wilderness doing wilderness therapy with uh, at-risk youth and really troubled the kids. I loved working with the teenagers the most. Well, that was a really enriching experience for plenty of reasons. So those are those are my most impactful travels. You know, I've been other places. I've been to, you know, Montreal a couple times and out west in the west coast. My brother lives in Seattle and Portland I've been to, but the the worldwide ones, that's that's kind of the overview. So uh, if, if one really stuck out to you, you want to hear about, or you have questions, or you've been there, please, you know, comment below. I'd love to hear uh, fellow world travelers and how, how it's enriched their lives. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.